Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho You're not like the others, no No changing behaviors Not sure how to act around you So colorful and bright Hello guys, another day of Rayconi is here <laughs> As is Penny you That's how he's sweet in my belly <laughs> Somebody say black beauty, what do you always mean by as it depend them now? So it is sweet or so I said I know a lot of people don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying that as he's spending them, that's exactly how he's sweeting my tummy, my belly. <laughs> I love this like this, and I thank God. For another bang for me. <laughs> Yesterday I rested. I said, let me go and rest from this street of liars. But it is what it is. We start to finish. That is why we say it's never ending saga. I was thinking that Mr. Cecil uh, saga finished. Only for me to see Strange Town Boy. I said, hey, strange town boy. Thank you for coming to Vendicate the Black Beauty TV. Anyway, guys, before we go into the video, hmm, we agree to disagree. <laughs> I want to read this comment for you guys. Hey, people, keyboard reactors sometimes. You people are too much. Oh. The person said to me in my, I think, is it the last video I made about uh, Cecil? He said to me, I do hope that when the real truth comes out, you will come and apologize to your audience because it's wanting to assume something and there is another thing to know for sure. Marwa is not pleased with Cecil right now. Regardless of what you are saying. <laughs> I'm going to call your name. It's my, this person has been in my channel for a very long time. At stage or something. They call stack or so. 2158. Can you also come and apologize to the Black Beauty TV now? I think this is the Let's read the reply first. And then I will say something about it and move to my video. And I said to, I, this is what I, I replied the person back. Hope, you will also apologize to me when the truth finally comes out. You want me to abuse Marwa, only then you will be happy. We all know he's not pleased with Cecil. We all know that Marwa is not pleased with Cecil. But he did not send him out. He did not send him away. <laughs> That's what I replied. He did not send Cecil away. And then he, he wrote me back. A Black Beauty TV official. I am not saying that you should abuse anyone, but common sense tells me that Cecil did not plan to leave that suddenly and not distribute the things that he had planned to distribute to the villagers, but the truth will eventually come out. Also, if you are proven correct, I will gladly accept publicly say that i was wrong <laughs> you see you were wrong i told you guys they never send cecil anywhere marwa cannot send cecil if you have been reacting on marwa and you have been watching marwa you will automatically know that marwa is not going to do anything bad to cecil Go and check the live stream and see Marwa face when he was speaking to this man. There is no how. Maybe Marwa, if you tell me that Marwa is not pleased with him because he visited Jitu and the man at the end of the day, he said he was, he asked Marwa for permission. You understand? Our Jamaican Babas, they are worshipping Marwa. Don't you people realize it? 
He asked Marwa for permission to go there. And then you are telling us now that you told us in this your comment that he planned to send to share the things in the village before he leave. That is our own entitlement. Where is the video that he was planning to share things before he leave? The only thing I knew and I didn't hear from the man. We only hear from that liar from Yabohanzi who said that they, he told him that he was going to give him one of those package. Now I'm even doubting it. I'm even doubting it if really this cell told him like that. I have been doing this reaction of Marwa. I started it, yes. Let me be proud to tell you that. All anybody you see from doing reacting on Marwa, negative or positive, it is all the branches of the Black Beauty TV. Whether you want to agree or you don't want to agree, it is what it is. You cannot change the narrative. You understand? That is why I call myself the CEO. It's not about going to talk about somebody because you hate the person, because you dislike the person. That is not the main thing that Lazy Gang was created. No. We said we, we, we come here, we gather. We want to say the truth. But Lazy Gang is now turning into a liar gang. That's why I told you guys the other day, if he's moving like that, count me out. Because I cannot see something with my korokoro eyes. And then I say it's true. No. You understand? I am not after whether what Cecil is doing bad in the Yabuhanze, whether he did something bad, he did that, he did that. <clears throat> my concern was, was the lies that were coming out every blessed day, even though he was already gone out of the village. Entitled men. Oh, he left suddenly. Tell me, Dim Wango that told you guys that she's over two weeks in New York. She never she did she never tell anybody where she is or where she's moving to till she's there she tells you people how do you have entitlement that cecil because he's new he should tell you his plans that is the entitlement we're talking about he should tell you that i'm coming today to kenya and i'm moving tomorrow no wodemaya travels when Wodemaya is even back from his travel one month two months in, in ghana you will not even know that he's in ghana You'll be thinking he's in that place he is because he's still posting his videos from that place he, he went. But he's in Ghana and people will be thinking, oh, Maya is in, in, in America. Oh, Maya is in Zimbabwe. But Marwa, uh, Maya is chilling in Ghana and posting his videos. You understand? So now you, you, you waited that Cecil should tell you guys, this is the day I'm traveling. Now that he came out to say nothing has ever happened between him and Marwa. No grudges. That is my own. I'm not going to talk about other things. This is what I was telling you guys. That this guy was never sent out of the villa. But you know one thing with people. The people that lie, you will always look for another lie to cover the lies you are lying. Because when they see them now talking with Marwa doing live stream. They are ashamed to accept the truth. They keep on bringing other lies to cover the first lie. That is how lies generated and lies keep flying. When they are defeated, they look for another lie to cover that lie. You guys, you know that me, I don't pity Marwa. In no way. I don't pamper anybody what Mr. Cecil got from these villagers in Kenya. I don't pity. In fact, he look for it because you are in the comfort of your home. What do you go and do in this kind of village? When we are doing reaction here, I'm telling them, be careful. Even now that I'm still talking, he's still planning. They are still planning for Marwa, with Marwa to go ahead with the plans and the projects in the village. You understand? So if Marwa is telling Cecil all these things, that Marwa is spoiling your name, and someone trusts you, you want to talk to you, you spoil your name even more than the one Marwa will do to you. You useless. You, every blessed day, you are bringing different videos because you know that this is what people want. These guys manipulate you guys like nothing. Like, in fact, they manipulate your brains and manipulate your heads and match them like match potatoes. 
Because of what? Because these guys, they already know that you don't like the ways of Marwa. They know that anything they tell you about Marwa, whether positive, neg anything negative they tell you about Marwa, whether it's true or it's not true, you will accept it. That is why they go creating these lies every day. And then you are clapping, you are encouraging them, you are not encouraging them to do something. This is not, that is why I say it's not lazy gang. No, when we were here in a lazy gang, people that started this lazy gang with us, that is not our goal. That we create lies from people. When we say that we are here to fight the liars, when we say we are here to expose liars, then liars will come from every corner of YouTube and they will be identified with lazy gang. No. I am the generator of lazy gang and that is not the lazy gang we plan to have. I'm not being arrogant of anybody, no. I'm not telling anybody, don't go this door. Mm -mm. But ask your conscience. And you people come here when I tell you guys, he did not send Cecil. Marwa, use your head and think. Do you think Marwa will send his ATM away? And do you think that Marwa will send this man and the slave of Marwa Gaki will be following this man up and down, but still you people were adamant. Your heart was so strong to say they send him away. Ah, telling me that I have to apologize to my subscribers if this thing comes to be true. Come and apologize to me, the Black Beauty TV now stage. Or how, sorry if I don't call your name well. But come and apologize to me for telling me that I should apologize when the truth comes. Now what do you have to say? Is to go back and create other lies to cover this one. The elderly man has said they did not send me away. <laughs> and he told you guys that he wanted, he never wanted to share those things. He wanted Marwa to share those things. So what do you want to say again? What do you want to say? Because he, he, he did not steal those things from the U.S. now. You understand? So you see, in life, even if you hate somebody, when you want to talk about the person, when you want to say anything about it, try a little bit and say things that are very close to the truth or the truth. But don't just go creating things every day just to entice people. It doesn't work that way. Let's go and watch Marwa and Cecil. That's why I say me. Today is another day of reckoning. <laughs> Anything my heart did not tell me to do, I will never do it. Let's go and watch it, Cecil, how they are chilling on the live stream. I say it when I was doing my video. I say, ah, this one that everybody broadcasting, lying, laughing on, the, on, on social media. Cecil and Marwa, they are sitting somewhere laughing at all of us. You understand? Because they will say, how can Marwa, you people, somebody that is giving, now they are still, Cecil is still saying, how many people they want to sponsor about 10 children. Look at how you people just destroy this woman they call Percy. You guys destroy Percy back to back. When they talk, they say that, oh, he, he was giving condition. Condition that you people cannot give. Tangible condition. You cannot give a tangible condition. That he was giving Percy. Now, who is to suffer this is the children. There's one Marwa reactor I watch. According to them, they say they are positive reactor. And in this one, guys, I will tell you the truth. It's real. It's the truth. It's positive. This guy said, I watch this guy. And he made a lot of sense. He said that when Marwa went to visit Percy's uh, home and bring Percy's child to show people the uniform. The uniform was torn upside down, very dirty. And why is it that Percy did not carry needle and sew uniform for her, for her child? And she left the child walking with this tall uniform. And it's the truth. But people don't like the truth. As a mother, even if you don't have that money, your child comes from school, is having this tall uniform. Our parents did it. At least, even if you don't have money to buy new uniform, Take a needle and patch, patch the, the, the uniform. But you are gallivanting in the, in the village. You are, you are only, the only thing you are trying. You know, that woman tried to oppress people. She tried to manipulate people with this issue of I am a widow, I am a widow. 
I ask myself, I sit down in my house like this. I am a widow. I am a widow. That's what she likes to like. You know, she likes to manipulate people with that thing. Like when she's a widow, nobody should talk to her. I ask her, I say, Pasi, let me ask you today. I've never been so, you know, intensive in your case because I don't even want to have anything to do with you because you manipulate these people with I'm a widow. When your husband was alive, he has been selling all the lands we hear it on YouTube. You understand? He sold all the lands and he was a drunkard, drinking alcohol all over and doing nothing with you. Is there any difference when he was alive and then when he's dead? When he was alive, you are already a widow. And what is your difference with all those single mothers in your village? What's the difference of you, a widow, and all those girls that become mothers without men or husbands? Is there any difference? They don't also have husbands. So they are also like widows. So don't be using this thing of widow, widow to manipulate people. Because not every widow deserves to be pitied. Because what you did to that man, I don't want to put my mouth. Whether you want to leave that Hishiri Koko elderly woman and come and be doing something with you, me, I don't understand. I don't know. I don't want to. In fact, I don't want to argue in that part because I was not there. You understand? Or some people are complaining that, yes, this man took he, her purse. He took her handbag and he was opening the handbag. I asked myself, I said, you, Pasi, as a woman, me, the Black Beauty TV, no man is going to ask me to give them my handbag to search. And I give my hand back to that man to search. What about because sometimes if I'm having my period, I'm working with my tampons, my pad in my hand back. Then I give it to a man to search. This woman goes to live stream. This is a woman that said that people want to hammer her, want to do something. I watched her. She was on live stream. I think that live stream, I think, I don't know. I don't want to, but I have watched her live stream like that. You wake up and you want to do live stream to people. You are not even wearing bra. You are just walking like that. Tomorrow you say, I'm a widow, I'm a widow. I don't want to be intensive with you. But people that have sense, people that think, I don't want to take anybody's opinion, but in my own opinion, stop using this, I am a widow to manipulate people. It doesn't work like that. Let's go watch it, guys. We agree to disagree. If you disagree with what I'm saying, don't allow me what to force me on what you are saying. And I always say, and I will keep saying, all of them in the Yabuhans, including Marwao, including all those ones that stayed in the bush, and be talking, and all of them, they are not, in fact, they are not faithful. They are deceitful human beings. And I pity anybody that have anything, any contact to do with you guys. Uh, in fact, even the Louis, or oh, sorry, not Louis, they say same. And Jamaica, Okul. what happened to, even if something happened to them in Kenya, it is none of our business. In fact, they deserve it. Let me put it that way. Because who asked them to go there? Nobody asked them to go there. That is why me, when I do my reaction, <laughs> I don't pamper any of them. For the Cecil, what Papa Cecil is getting now, he should have shined his eyes. You should have shined your eyes. You are not watching reaction. And see what is happening in your hands and you are still planning to go there. Go there tomorrow and still go. When something happens, I will still come here and, and hammer you guys. And I'm on my way. You understand? Let's go, guys. Watch this uh, Baba Marwa and Cecil. How Cecil is saying. Nobody, he was not saying. He planned his trip. You understand? So, stop being entitled. Eh? Even if you don't like the vlog video TV, like the video. <laughs> Lazy gang. Hey, you people should not turn this lazy gang to another team. This is, we have worked hard for this, our lazy gang. Don't be coming pium, pium, pium from all your atrocities somewhere and be identifying yourself. You are lazy. Lazy what? We, that is not our, we are not here to lie about people. We are here to iron, iron the lies. You understand? If you don't know our rules and regulation in lazy gang, the main, 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 main purpose of lazy gang is to iron the lies. So don't come and make lazy gang to be liars. Never. We are not part of it. I want to go. So, all right. To begin. To begin. Yes. First time we can practically state that the bond between Mawa, his family and I, 
is and always will be loyal and solid no matter what the circumstance. I, I agree, I, I agree. It was said that I was chased from your villa. So to make set the record straight, I was never chased yes. from the villa, villa, not by Mawa or anyone. Mawa did not ask me to leave, chase me away, either physically or verbally. Nor did he, yes. nor did he infer that I leave, nor did he, did I leave because of an hostile environment. Period, full stop. That's it. My departure was clearly and also, Mr. Sorry, sorry to okay. cut you short. Also, I wanna make it also clear as you read that uh, uh, me and you joining this live stream was initiated by you. So, you know, some people may tend to say, oh, Maro had to make Mr. Cecil come to video to say A, B, C, D. I want to make it very clear that Mr. Cecil requested me to actually join him on the live stream. I ask you yes. yesterday, it was okay, yes. because I did nothing about setting up this, uh, this. And you said yes, and I had to get it set up. So you did yes. not initiate this. I was the one who asked you. And I'm trying to be as candid as I can. And I know you'll be as candid as you can. Right? Yes, yes, Mr. Cecil. Yes. Okay. You know, uh, me, me big, the bigger, being the bigger YouTuber, people may tend to say, oh, Marwa is pushing. No. I want to no. make this very clear. This came from Mr. Cecil. You know me as Maro, me, I will keep quiet. But yeah. Mr. Cecil is very new on YouTube. And for his sake, I decided to come here also to support uh, and to, to show my appreciation from my side that uh, me and Mr. Cecil, we have no problem. But Mr. Cecil being very new on YouTube, uh, you know, things going there are triggering him very much. Me, I have a thick skin because I've been here for eight years. Yes. <laughs> Lambruski, Lambruska. You should not be angry with me. Oh. <laughs> I am not Mr. Cecil. And I am not Oga Baba Swam Master. Eh -eh. <laughs> I'm just a reactor. Reacting when I see something. <laughs> Loud and clear. If you like, eh, somebody like. Carry something and close your ears and say you do not hear it from the horse's mouth. Loud and clear that I was not chased from the swarm. <laughs> I plan my trip ahead of everything. <laughs> people don't like the truth. Though. You people should not turn this one. You people should not turn. Just accept it that yes, this is how the thing go and we move ahead ahead but before we move ahead ahead eh stagey stagey i also need apology oh. <laughs> he told me that i have to apologize i need apology also you understand he said he used his common sense some people came and told me that this is a nonsense reaction that one me i just delete and i block it honestly because I cannot leave if you disagree with me and tell me this is a nonsense reaction no no hey if you know swam master me i don't want to keep repeating things because this thing is going to be like is the same thing but it is a pity that some people accept lies very very easy like that you some people accept you know when something did not favor somebody the person just go out and fabricate lies to entice people because he knows that there's a group that they are looking for this thing, this bad thing. In fact, if I say this bad thing, that is this thing that is like that. They are going to come and watch. They are going to, in fact, they are going to help me without conscience. Doing things without conscience. Just because I want to talk, I want people to say, you, I ask myself, do we think today the person bring a talk and tomorrow he bring another different thing. Next tomorrow he bring another different with one and the man left still bringing lies to you people feeding you guys with lies 
and you guys were enjoying it. It's not all about the banger. It's not all about, I want to say something bad about somebody. But where is your proof? The, saying things without proof. And people accumulating it. Accumulating it and saying yes, 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 yes. I don't blame anybody on me. I blame this elderly man. What are you people looking in your Bohanze? Are there no other villages to go? Look at what, how this man, look at how you just, at, with, at your age like this, you know, will not papa you. At your age, Mr. Cecil, how old are you? You said you just had eye operation. You did not stay in the U.S. to heal from your eye operation. You waka, you go, your Bohanze. And for them to go and ridicule you like that, a man of your, eh? A man of your caliber, or how do I say it? A man of your caliber like this, you lower yourself like this and went to the village for them to ridicule you like you are a nobody. Tell me, are you want to go back to help these ungrateful people? The one that will happen to you, Mr. Sissy, the next one, it will be a real banger. You should be thanking your stars that you are home safely with your, with your Sherry Coco, your elderly woman. Thank God you are home safely. But I don't know why Marwa was like, oh, you want, leave him to do, why are you trying to, like, cover yourself that you did not call, you did not initiate this life. We don't want to hear that one. All we want to hear is the truth. Did you chase him or you did not chase him? And finally, you, two of you, we don't know whether it's true or not true, but finally from you, you, the horse's mouth, you said, Mr. Cecil said, no, but I asked people, I said, do you think Cecil is a baby? You are asking Cecil, oh, what are you going to do with those things? Oh, is he a baby? Like you are asking like his mama they gave birth today. Entitlement, entitlement. Today I really wanted to go and talk about a gamma lizard. You will just bring this Cecil story from nowhere. But at the same time, I'm happy that at least Mr. Cecil Far, he has found time to do this live stream to clear the air for you people that nobody sent him away. You understand? I know you people, some, I'm not saying everybody, some people will still say that it's not true. When you are not in a place and somebody just tell you that me that I was there, this is what happened. Even if you don't want to say, you don't want to accept it, just digest it. That he was not sent according to him. You understand? That is how life is. Marwa that loves money more than the devil. That guy loves money more than anything in this world. Marwa can even send, he can even sell congrats Momo for money. He will sell congrats, even he will sell Jigolo Master Head back to back and collect dollars. And then you think that somebody just come like this is going to give Marwa money. Marwa saying, yes, yes, I agree. We don't have problem. Did you see if he has problem? Marwa would have carry live stream and start abusing people like this up and down. You understand? Maybe Marwa was not happy. Because if he got to have the problem with the man, is like there's a place that I don't know why Marwa was saying that in the video. Because I told you guys, if I see something, I say when Marwa was here, I will still play some clips, but I don't want to play even too much clips because I don't want the video to be long, long. <laughs> hey, so Marwa, what did he say in that clip? Eh? He said that uh, that they misused Mr. Cecil because he was not there. They took advantage of Mr. Cecil. But Mr. Cecil said that he took permission from you to go see that guy in your village. So how did they take advantage of him? Because you were not there. You are the one who sent him and your slaves. You agree for them to meet. So why do you think they took advantage of him because you were not there? That one I have to say the truth the way I saw it. Because if you agree to something, you said they should go and see him. Now you are saying they took advantage of him. Nobody took advantage of him. If he has come there, what is he looking for in that boy in your village? When you were not there, he want to make peace. You cannot make peace with somebody in Argentina and somebody in the village. You should have called two of them. 
Come back next time. Two of them join them and make peace. Not this kind of peace. One person is in Jericho. Another person is in Jerusalem. Then you just cause havoc. One day havoc. And that guy that you came to make peace immediately, he just came to hear your mouth. Hey! Elderly people without wisdom. The guy just came to take what is in your mouth? Somebody came and tell me, oh, we Caribbean, oh, we Jamaicans, oh, we, because you are a Caribbean, you are Jamaican, you cannot tell me you think all of you that you are thinking the same thing. Everybody, they have their personalities, especially those ones that did not even grow up there. Everybody have their personalities. Oh, it's not because of talk. That sent Mr. Cecil is not just because of what that guy in the village said that sent him away. Marwa must have done something to him. Just because you want to believe that, yes, Marwa fought with this guy. You're thinking what you, are, you have already absorbed in your heart. Because this is what you are waiting for. If you are waiting for something to happen to somebody in your heart, that is how you want to make that thing a reality, even though it's not reality. That is how the world is. Living the truth and one, just because I'm thinking that this is how it is. Despite the fact that I react on Marwa, nobody on YouTube street here has reacted on Marwa more than me, the Black Beauty TV. You understand? So if I see something that, yes, this is how it is, let us say it the way it is. That is our mission. Let us iron the lies. That is the mission of the lazy gang. But now lazy gang is has turned to, no, I will not say lazy gang because nobody can just come from anywhere and say I'm lazy gang. No, we reject it. Me as the CEO, I reject it. Especially when you just bring lies and then you want to identify lazy gang. No, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. We are here to iron the, the lies, you know, hey, yeah. here. <laughs> to put the liar, the liars. That's why we say we don't pamper anybody. Hey, especially if you're a liar, you're a liar. I stand on it. Because if I'm shaking, shaking as a CEO, today I'm here, who, 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 tomorrow I'm there, who, who, who is going to stand? Stand for your own right. Let's go and watch another one of Marwa. Me, I'll come and call it a day. When I I got myself, I will not even. Maybe I will say something small. I will not even talk about Agama. Because me, I came for the uh, day of reckoning. There is a day of reckoning. From my side, that uh, me and Mr. Cecil, we have no problem. But Mr. Cecil being very new on YouTube, uh, you know, things going there are triggering him very much. Me, I have a thick skin because I've been here for eight years. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Well said. My departure, for, my departure was clearly planned ahead of time. Also, I was never intended to distribute the gifts I shipped from the United States. I personally, was, it wasn't my intention that I was going to um, distribute them. It was solely going to be distributed by you or under the auspices of you, along with your family or whoever you choose to deliver it. I'm doing this live stream to inform viewers of my channel that the only problem I have in Neighbor Hansi is with a few people in the village who in my mind is nothing but intellectually anemic. It's been said it appears as if I was beaten up badly and punched in the eyes, making it look swollen. For your information, I recently underwent eye surgery for my right eye and was cleared by my surgeon, okay to travel. Furthermore, I am not an easy push over. I was well trained in hand to hand combat and coupled with my Jamaican fighting abilities, when confronted with hostility, it's game on. As long as I'm a youth, uh, on YouTube, 
uh, never be intimidated by persons, especially those who were born with a condition of hydrocephalic and they didn't have that shot implanted in their brains for the fluid to drain. As a result, they continuously arrive at crazy hypotheses, then feed it into the minds of some persons who are nothing more than social cripples. These are, and, and then they take it to another level. There's a Jamaican proverb that says, if I throw a stone, Lavruski, hey! Lavruska. Hey, let me also tell Mr. Cecil, he's told us a proverb from Jamaica, but not in this clip. So let me tell him another proverb in Niger. <laughs> if you don't know how to catch a thief, <laughs> the thief is going to catch you ready handed. You understand? I want to go. <laughs> There's a way to follow this. Look at Marwa. Me and Mr. Cecil, we don't have any problem. You see? Don't allow your enemies to always win you. <laughs> Try to be having sense to follow all these things. It's also a proverb. Not that all you just want to go and give people food. Now you are now limited in intellectual. <laughs> that is what Mr. Cecil is now calling the village boy that he was busy telling him, oh, you are fine. Look at your Louis Vuitton. <laughs> You are the correct respected man in the village. Now you have turned to limited intellectual man. <laughs> Labruski, Labrusko, Blamiti TV. As the pen name, now so he received me. He never planned to share those things in the village. And I want to ask myself. Those people that are saying that he planned to share the things, can you give me a video where he said he planned to share things? Where is this guy in the village, the liar that came to tell you guys that, oh, he said that one of the package is going to be for me and we're going to distribute it to the villagers. Series of lies. That's what I call it. I'm going to iron, I don't pamper anybody. I don't pamper. I'm not going to play any clips again. If you want to go there, go and watch it. Watch Mr. Cecil with your own ears. Listen to what he got to say. The man is still cleaning Marwa's ass. All of them, this Jamaica uncle, Mr. Cecil. <laughs> I told you guys they will never leave Marwa. You understand? Marwa is their hero. <laughs> And you just think he will come and give you a telephone call to buy food for you in the hotel. And you sit down there, you are saying, fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> hey, well, I don't know how, if I'm today I'm going to, should I drink a, hey, let me even, even do my own today. Who's going to buy wine for me? If you like, say I'm, I'm activating. <laughs> donation but i need to drink wine at least for saying the truth now using my head to tell you guys that they never send cecil cecil and marwa they are still like five or six husband and wife <laughs> you people are breaking your head into pieces you people are bringing commotion here and there left and right well, let us be taking things slowly gently you know love Mama them in a way that is supposed to be mamari. So that even if you are saying the truth, at least it will make sense to people. Don't just come. Hey, hey, hey Mr. Sisi, oh, Kenge, I'm just laughing. Oh, Kenge, just call him and say, leave the villa. You met this guy. So you believe because they were deceiving you that you are the real G. You are wearing Louis Vuitton. You have it in your mind that you are the real G. They came, look at how they came to brainwash you and use your head like they are washing gold in one river somewhere. And now 
They wash it, they wash your head. They are just seeing you like somebody without skull or how do I say it? And let they say somebody was only skull. The brain is being pushed somewhere. Now you are intellectually limited. <laughs> Mr. Cecil, me, I don't speak, speak this, your big, big grammar. Continue to give them back to back. And me, I sit down here. I told you guys that that is why me, the Black Beauty TV, I like myself back to back. I control my carbon, myself. I respect, I love my subscribers. If you correct me in a right way, I like you. I correct, I take your correction, but not come and insult me. I respect you. At the same time, that free will that God gave me, I still use that free will and do whatsoever I want to do. Not because somebody want to give me ten dollars, five dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars super chat. Then I just come and tell you people lies. It don't work like that. That is not how the thing go. You understand? That is not how the thing go. I tell you the truth. My own truth. That is what I will say. My own. I will tell you my own point of view. This is the way I see it. Advise me. It is left for me to agree with you or disagree with you. That is how it's supposed to be. Don't be doing reaction with hatred. That's what I always tell you guys. Not because you hate somebody. You want to pieces the person and say you want to bring lies on top of lies. Let me tell you something. Let's leave Mr. Cecil as I've told you guys. If you want to watch Mr. Cecil, go and support him. Go and watch him. He's a free will. At least you will understand maybe more. Even though there are some people that are still insulting him because of the way he's still doing Aseleka for Marwa. But what do you expect? He went there because of him. You understand? It's because of Marwa. They are doing all this washing. Look at the way Jamaica uncle can even carry Marwa and shower Marwa. You will shower Marwa, rub him cream. You cannot change their mindset about Marwa. Just leave them. Anything that happened to them, you have a hand said, Now them sabi, it is their own. They, will, they say, if you don't want to hear, you must see. You understand? It's also a proverb. So if Mr. Cecil has agreed to be doing this thing to Marwa, allow them, but don't push, don't lie that they send him away. Marwa cannot send him away. Marwa can never, I still tell you guys, there is no way Marwa will send him away. That's by the way. Now I see Agama Lizard, I, I wanted to react and bang her, but now the reaction is already maybe long. She did live stream yesterday, still talking, still reacting about the haters. She was still doing reaction. She called her own reaction a Q&A or C&A or whatsoever. You call it a Q&A or whatsoever. That's what she called her own reaction. Saying that, oh, her boy, she's in her boyfriend's house. I asked myself, so who cares where you are? And then you enter inside the video. There was no boyfriend. And then she was busy with her subscribers saying that, oh, the haters will want to see my boyfriend. Has any, I asked myself, I said, how are people so idiotic? I call it to German, idiotic. How people are so idiotic? Let me put it for you like this. Oh, the mumurichi is beginning to become too much. Nobody asks you about your boyfriend. You are the one who carry yourself, title your video in my boyfriend's house. And then you sat down and you are talking about your video that the haters will want to see your boyfriend. Did any hater has ever called you to say, show your boyfriend? Who cares? Are you the first person to have boyfriend? Is it the kind of boyfriend you are going to bring to us that look like a, a JB? Is it the type of boy, which type of boyfriend? Oh, she have a boyfriend in New York. <laughs> Agama Lizard has American boyfriend. So we should start fainting. Ororo. We should start fainting. Like, seriously. We are just on our own. We have never asked this girl whether who is knocking her. No reactors have asked you. None of your haters have asked you about your boyfriend. You are talking that they, they hate us. They want to see. They are waiting. They are waiting to see, but you will never show. You want to show us a boyfriend that is a, eh, 
You want a kino that is knocking you every day we are seeing which boyfriend you want to show us again. We don't care for your information. If you like, never show him. We don't want to see that mumu that you are bringing that is your boyfriend. We don't want. We don't want. Hold him to yourself. We don't want to see. Oh, they cannot eat because of me. You did 10 videos according to you this month. Go and check our channels how many videos we did. So those days you did not post, we did not post. You that stay five days, four days, you did not post. We were bangering the street. Everybody even forgot about you because Cecil and Marwa and the, the boy in the village, they were raining you. You were nowhere to be found. I even saw even in your live stream, live stream of Dimango, only 400 people, 600. You were even, the 600 were even like struggling to be 600. Because your name was nothing again on YouTube stream. Now you want to activate. Oh, if you want me to show you my boyfriend, let us reach 500 K subscriber, 500 uh, yeah, thousand now, uh, and then I will show you him, or maybe we'll show the leg. They like Agama Lizard, are you okay? Who want to see your boyfriend? And then uh, if I have put the clip for you, it would have been a real banger. But guys, pardon me, I'm not going to put another one again. She said, Hmm, that all this video she's doing on the street and asking men about Lamborghini is just content. I said, it's just content and people are taking it serious. If it is just content, why don't you be asking rich people? Why do you look for only helpless guys to ask them about that Lamborghini? You never ask any rich person. You ask, you just want to intimidate these people and you are saying it's just content. You want to intimidate people about money and you are saying it's only content for you. It might be only content for other people. It's a serious case. She said, oh, she's going to Dubai. She will have to ask those kind of questions on the street of Dubai. Arab boys will remove your head. You will be asking like this before you know it. Dagger have removed your head. It's crying somewhere and your body is crying somewhere. Try it in Arab. You think you can go to Arab and this and this respect their men. They don't care about anybody. They feel like they're on top of the world. Because they feel like they have money, so they can do and undo in their country. Even if they slap you, you say, yes, sir. That is how it is in the Middle East. If they slap you, you said, yes, sir. Because if you don't say, yes, sir, you fight them in their country. They are going, even if they are, they are at their fault, they will deport you the next minute or they put you in prison. That is how they think in the Middle East. So be wise. Don't say you are going to the Middle East. To ask people on the street this nonsense. They will finish you back to back. Anyway guys, please. Agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. Like the video. Like the video. Like the video. <laughs> people will say, ah, Black Beach TV is crazy. Mm -mm. I'm not crazy. I just, you know, sometimes I like to, you know, I like to ginger people. Essentially, when I want to give you the message, I like to give it to you. When you attack me, I come back to give you the real gist when the truth comes. So I'm waiting for that apology and I hope you come and apologize to the Black Beauty TV. Thank you so much and God bless you guys for watching uh, the Black Beauty TV. No matter what, we'll surely see again in another Banga, I hope so that we'll see tomorrow. I'll be happy. I'll be happy to come. I might even still go back to Cecil and still analyze his video. Because honestly, I never planned to do this Cecil video. I was sitting down here to do my video and boom, I saw his video. And then I just say, okay, let me just check out on his video. Because I plan to really hammer Agama Lizard. But Mr. Cecil, save Agama Lizard for today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you guys. I love you guys from the depths of my heart, no matter what, honestly speaking. And I respect your opinion. Thank you. And God bless you all. We'll see you again tomorrow in another banga. Bye-bye. It's me, daughter of the soil and the real CEO. Promises so far, but when it comes to truth, they never told a lie. Invest with me, they say your money's gonna go. But once you take the bait, pockets.
start to go Never one smiles while hearts inside they bleed I feel like chocolate smiles Driven by pure greed Truth gets twisted Lines all fade away In the bonds this game where fortunes are made Living flashy on the surface But inside it decays Yoked upon shattered dreams and stolen Once you take the picture, pockets start to go. 